Dear students, I welcome you all to the English grammar class. In the previous class, we learned voice part two. In the part two, we studied sentences of do forms and ya forms, do forms, ya forms, and be forms. Now let us study part. Three voice part three. In this, you know, we, uh, we are going to learn case case four. Model helping verb. Whenever model helping verb are there in active voice, how can we change active to passive? For example, I would like to write formula. This is subject. F yes. subject. Plus here model helping verb, right? Then V one, then object. So this is active voice, active form four. Then substitute the values to passive form. <coughs> This object becomes subject. You can write here subject. Object of active voice, you can write here, no problem. Then same model will be involved here. Same model will be involved. Same, no change. Same model will be involved. Plus V, plus V three of this active voice. Next plus by plus plus object means. This subject becomes object. Let us uh, write example for this. Yeah, she can. She can sing a song. She can sing a song. Yeah, subject. This is subject. This model helping word. Sing V one model helping helping word. This is helping word. Subject. This is object. Here, here V one will be followed by model helping word. Here, model helping word take V one only. Neither V two nor V three. Right. Uh, Whenever tense is changed into past tense, you know, it becomes could. She could sing a song. Some students may mistake. They they change tense here also and here also. No, it is a rule. You remember this. Right? It is very very important. Then let let us substitute this. Here object becomes subject. You know, here object is song. In previous cases, you know. Whenever B forms in a active voice, B forms in active voice, Y forms in active voice. Here we are, we think about number uh, number of the subject and verb in the active voice, tense of the active voice. Here we need not to change. Here we need not to think about number, whether it is plural or singular. Same helping, same model helping verb should be. Brought to here, see same whatever it is there. Can is a song. Can then can be can a song can be sung by by her. Frame question tag for both active and passive. Here can she here can she can she here. And here, count it. Count it. Count it. So one more example for this. She. She. She must. She must do these works. These 
but is this very simple subject mass tail p1 plus v1 plus object yes object here these works these works see these works plural whether it is plural or singular so same helping verb same model helping verb we should bring it same model must these works must must be these works must be do becomes past participle done by her question tag must not she here mustn't they right you can write at the end they put come on and make question tag must mustn't mustn't she question tag here mustn't they is very this is very very easy right next last one we shall do it one, one more example he you would bring you would bring the good news the good news Yes. Here the good news. Always news. You know, don't, don't think it is a plural. It is a singular. Right? Good news. Same would would be brought. This, this is one first person of this brought brought by him. Question tag here. Wouldn't he write here? Last. Wouldn't. Wouldn't he? Question tag. Here. Wouldn't. It. Here news is singular. Don't think it is plural. Right? Uh, we shall frame a negative, a few negative examples to understand question tag. Right? Fourth one, it would not, would not eat, it would not eat a mango, a mango, right? Here, a mango, a mango would not, as it is, you should write. Would not be eaten. Eaten by, eaten by it. Question tag here. Would it? Would it? Here also would it? Would it? They, they, uh, this is because here given sentence is in a negative, not. Here also negative. So question tag would be positive, right? Okay, we shall go to the next uh, case, case fifth, case fifth, case fifth. Whenever let the sentences, sentences begins with let. A sentence, a sentence begins with. Let. Then, how can we change uh, active to passive? Whenever sentences are in the form of advice, order, request, we can begin passive sentence with let. Right? Here, like this. For example, here, take it. Take it. 
take it here u is understood here u is understood here right this in such case passu begins with the word let 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 plus subject here this is a one here and we have this subject here this is understood subject verb this is object next in passive voice let right let plus subject this uh, this object becomes subject plus b plus v3 this one here e na plus by by object this is understood to be never mentioned here why how subject is not mentioned here similarly object in the passive voice will not be mentioned if it is mentioned no problem right now let answer let it let it be v3 taken let it be taken by by you let it be taken by you here it is understood only this much you can write right if it is negative ha huh? or can you write here this second one don't take don't take it how do you write here don't take it let it is since it is negative begin here not let it not be taken let it not be here by you is understood right one more close the door close the door three here let let the door let the door be closed closed next negative if it is change into the negative don't don't close the door here yeah, let the door not be closed so we can frame on our own sentences we can frame such sentences you try to uh, frame on your own whenever you are able to frame sentences on your own you can solve the problem i mean you can change active to passive right next case with last one this is last here whenever there are two objects in a sentence we shall begin this part in the next video dear students i would like to uh, i want you to subscribe this channel to watch all related related videos in the future with this i conclude thank you